I can remember the first time my father bought me with him very well. I felt too young and too seasick. Since then, I have not seen a single sunrise during which my feet stood on solid ground. One can trust the ocean. It does not change. I have read that at some point in time, humans swam in it. And when the ship still sailed the seas, the ocean and sky were supposedly blue. Whether or not this is true, these antique ships have rendered themselves useful as building materials. Every day, new people came to this island, and they all needed a place to live. When the government did step up to the plate, the turbulent years were put behind us. My family welcomed the government's intervention. Too much competition all the time is not good for running a business. Though none of these land rats ever really posed a threat. Besides experience, we do have the better equipment. This ship had been built by my ancestors only every once in a while do I have to replace worn-out parts. Although the fat swallow is even older than it appears to be, everything is synchronized and still functions perfectly. At least most of the time. I grew up in this house. My wife always wanted a bigger house, but what for? Everything you need is right here. And though I have only one arm left, for my age, I am in pretty good shape. Unfortunately, I have to rely on canned goods that crappy artificial mainland food. As already mentioned, I really am in good shape, though my hunting days are over. It would be borderline crazy to go hunting all by myself. Back in the day, we made a fortune hunting. The mainland's demand for fresh meat was hard to fill, Sometimes we took one out of the sea every day. This one here was my largest cat. Must have been almost 50 meters long. We had to spear him with five harpoons just to slow him down. He pulled my friend's ship under the sea. And when I attempted to save Chan and pull him onto my ship, he took with him my friend, along with my arm. We later cut Chan's corpse out of his bedding. This was a good death for a good hunter, and we held the feast in his honor. The entire island vibrated with life. The butchery was buzzing with workers. Everything from the Monju was made use of. There were groups for processing the meat, the blood, the bones, the tendons, the liver oil, and the brain. Since the group that finished last had to empty the guts, every group aimed to finish first. From afar, all these people looked like flies on a cadaver. During those days, one could not differentiate water from blood beneath the butchery. 
When the meat arrived at the market, it only was considered fresh if it was still warm. At any time of the day or night, the streets were full with people. A great many merchants also came from out of town to sell their merchandise. Whatever one's heart desired could be found in those shops. I miss those times. There was never a quiet moment. government came to us with this new world program, people started to leave our island. More and more people left and tried to secure themselves a space on those ferries. If my wife was still alive, I would have left as well. But there is nothing waiting for me in this new world. Once everyone had left, I got to know the silence. now the Monjus. I cannot imagine ever leaving here. Meanwhile, I see the ferries taking off several times a day. up there. 